Uh, hey, Morton. Uh, hey. We're here looking at, and I've not heard of Midium before. I don't know why I haven't, because it looks like a fairly advanced concept and product here. Well, Tell me about uh, it. Medium is, uh, is brand new. In fact, it's not really uh, out yet. Uh, we hope to release it in uh, the first quarter of uh, 23. Um, but we can have a look at it already. Yeah. So Medium is a uh, MIDI foot controller primarily. That uh, maybe stands out a little bit because it has this big touchscreen on the front of it. And that's really where we do all of the, uh, the editing and the setup. So if we wanted to add a new scene, we can do that. And if we go into the scene, we have six slots for presets or for other functions. So let's add a preset here, like this. A preset can either be activated or deactivated. So if you go into the preset, we can decide and set up which media messages to send when we activate and which send to send when we deactivate in response to expression input and so on. So if we do take a simple example here, we have all the regular MIDI types that we are familiar with, but we can do something a bit smarter because we have a library of device profiles. So if we go in here and select the device we would like to control, here we have a list of all the functions available on that device. Oh, okay. So if I select bass, for instance, that is the first fader up here on uh, this machine, and I input a value, we can see that I have a real-time effect, and yeah. I have a very easy way to access and, and set up. The same goes for expression. If you go in and find our, the device we would like to control, I now have expression control over that parameter. Ah, so there's an expression input here somewhere. There's two expression inputs on the back. Okay. Along with the MIDI in and out, and the MIDI 3.5 millimeter TRS MIDI out as well. Uh, there's uh, two USB host ports, so if you have uh, USB MIDI compliant devices, you can control those as well. So uh, what, what uh, does it, because you've got, move, will, is, you, can you program movement within it, like, I don't know, uh, dynamic yes. values and whatnot? So as we have the on activate and on deactivate tabs for sending messages when oh, we so activate you put, and deactivate. You put an envelope, right. We also have a while active, and in here we can input LFOs or oh. envelopes. So if we put an LFO in, we can open it up. We can select this, the waveform. Let's do a triangle here. Adjust the phase and the duty cycle. And then inside of this LFO, again, we can add MIDI or device functions, which are also MIDI, but they are Just one, one yeah. layer removed, so we don't have to worry about CC values and so on. So if we put the mix in, let's just keep it at the full range, 0 to 127. We can go up go out and now when I activate the preset we see that the LFO is controlling this parameter. Nice and what, how does that handle stuff with uh, like interpolation because obviously most CC's are going to be 128. Well they still are um, so obviously in software the precision is a lot higher than 0 to 128 but as the MIDI protocol doesn't uh, support more than that we're only sending out in those steps. So I guess my next question would be, okay, so MIDI 2.0 seems purpose-built for this. Will this be able to kind of go, what you got, you know, what, what, can, what can I control, tell me about it, and then you can populate the menus in here. Is that all gonna happen? It, that will happen, we can't do it right now. And there's not a lot of MIDI 2.0 uh, <laughs> right there. devices out there supporting it, the standard yet. But as you say, it's ideal for a product like this, because you plug, you mean connect two devices, and they can have some intercommunication that is going to solve a lot of this and, and make it even easier to, to use MIDI for your, your pedal board or for your synthesizers. Or so, I mean, what, what's the advantage of, say, this over an app and a hardware controller? Because, I mean, this, this looks like it might have a Linux core or an Android core, I mean, I'm guessing, but, you know, you could run it, could you not run it on a tablet and have, um, you, have foot pedals or whatever? Well, one, it's a foot pedal, so, you, you don't want to step on your tablet. No. Uh, and maybe you don't want to bring your tablet to a gig. So here it's all self-contained. Everything is going on here. And I mean, it's a, as easy as a tablet. It's, I mean, you could imagine the same interface on a mobile device, but here it's right where you need it. And it's, you know, it's lined up with the, with the switches and everything. So, so um, would it be possible to have like a, an offline editor, so for instance, on a, on a mobile device and then just dump the stuff in there? And we are still looking into uh, to, uh, to that and if there are any uh, obvious ways to, to solve that. 
uh, but initially it's, it's all here. So just, just to recap, on the interfacing, hardware interfacing, you've got expressions. Oh, okay. We can show that here. Yes, so we have the uh, power in, MIDI in, MIDI out uh, 5 pin, and MIDI out uh, TRS 3.5 mm, two of those. Two expression inputs, the two USB host yeah. ports, and we have Ethernet. There's actually also Wi-Fi built in. Oh, does it do RTP? Does it, do uh, it doesn't do it yet, but it will. Right now it does software updates and device profile updates that way. And um, what about OSC? You got plans for that as well? What's that? Have you got plans to support OSC? I can't hear. Have you got plans to support OSC as well? Um, we have ideas of plan, uh, uh, supporting uh, OSC. Also we have on the back, we have space for expansion modules. So it could also, uh, with a hardware uh, addition, uh, be uh, able to control uh, CV, uh, analog CV, or maybe a DMX for light control. Yeah. Or uh, I mean, there's a lot of options there. So uh, I mean, this is this looks like is this sort of uh, pre pre tooling or where are you in? Yeah, the these process? are pre production uh, samples, um, but we are we are quite happy with with this design and uh, this uh, layout. So this is probably uh, very close to the final thing. And have you got any idea when you're, what, what sort of price you're going to launch? And how, are you going to launch Kickstarter or how are you going to? Uh, we haven't, uh, we don't have any specific plan for Kickstarter. We're still considering. Um, but we're expecting it to launch at uh, 500 pounds plus VAT in the Q3 23, yes, as I said. Right, okay. Brilliant. Uh, where can people find out more information about your so stuff? So on uh, www.medium.net, like here. Perfect. Or on Instagram. Thanks very much. Thank you.